Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today I'm going to look at this case study for a 92 year old gentleman from Ireland called Richard Morgan. To me, the most amazing thing about Richard is not only that he is an active 92 year old, he also has 80% muscle mass and he did not start exercising until he was 73. I'm 62 and my muscle percentage is 42.7. So I'm glad that I found this study on how he achieved his results and excited to share it with you. The study comes from the universities of Shannon and Limerick in Ireland. In the study, they documented the physiology, performance and nutrition of the participant. We will look at these in a minute. His training regimen included 30 kilometers a week on an indoor rowing machine, where 70% of the effort was at light intensity, 20% at hard and 10% at max effort. This gives him a good mix of zone two and high intensity exercise for his cardio. He also does two sessions of resistance training a week, consisting of three sets of dumbbell lunges, rows and curls, which are taken close to failure to maintain his strength and muscle mass. He enjoys a high protein diet with about 2.3 grams per kilogram of lean mass. For him, this comes out at about 1.9 grams per kilogram of body weight. His muscle mass is 47.7 kilograms and fat mass is 9.1, which gives a body fat percentage of 15.4. His vital capacity is 3.36 liters and peak heart rate was 153 and maximum power was 220 watts. Overall, his oxygen uptake was equivalent to someone in their 30s. All of which implies that the systems responsible for these metrics can still be trained even in an advanced age. A little more detail on Richard's metrics. He is 92 years old. He weighs 59 kilograms, which puts him in the under 75 kilogram class for rowing. He was the world champion in 2007, 2017, 2021, and 2022. He did not start rowing until he was 73. And before that, he was not doing any structured exercise. A couple of things to note here. He has been very consistent with 15 years between his first and most recent world championship. And he did not start rowing or even exercising until he was 73, which shows that it is never too late to start. We covered his training regimen in the introduction, but it's worth noting that he has never been injured. This I think is important because of the rapid fall off in performance if you are not training when older. So one of the primary goals must be to not get injured. Some detail on Richard's body composition. His muscle mass is 47.7 kilograms, which is 80.6% of his body mass. His fat percent is only 15.4, which is well within the healthy range for someone in their 40s. The paper provides a lot of detail on his metabolic numbers. I have picked a few to have a look at here. His vital capacity is 3.36 liters. Vital capacity is the volume of air that can be exchanged in the lungs. This is not the same as the total lung capacity, as they cannot be completely emptied. Richard's vital capacity was 119% of that predicted. Here is a table with the average vital capacities correlated with age. The unit for these are in cubic centimeters, so we need to divide by 1,000 to get the same units. You can see that it decreases with age. And we can see that the value would put him somewhere in the group between 35 and 45. His VO2 max is 23.4. I cannot find anything for VO2 max going beyond 89, but this table comes from a report by the Mayo Clinic, and it would put him in the top percentile for someone in their 80s and the top 40% for someone in their 70s. And his max heartbeat is 153 beats per minute which is 25 beats higher than predicted by the standard Fox equation of 220 minus your age. There are a few limitations of the study, especially around lack of longitudinal data and possible genetic predispositions. However, what can we learn from this individual? I see four key takeaways. I think the main one is it's never too late to start exercise. It's possible to see benefits from exercise at any age for any person. 
The correct protocol and diet can certainly help. He does a mix of low intensity cardio with brief spurts at higher effort, along with resistance training. We need all these types of exercise to maintain muscle mass and cardio fitness. He is consistent in his training, which is helped by the lack of injury. At 1.9 grams per kilogram, he is getting sufficient protein. This is important with age because of the lower absorption, especially when we are also working out. I cannot find an RDA for protein for someone in their 90s who works out regularly, but based on some figures from the Mayo Clinic, it might be around 1.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. A positive study of what is possible that shows age is just a number. Thank you for your attention and I wish you all well.